Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Montefusco and I'm a lover of all things when it comes to makeup, fragrance, and beauty. And I hope you like my Dolly Parton earrings today. I ordered these from this really cute Etsy shop. I'll link the shop down below. They do drops every so often. And you know, I'm, I live in East Tennessee um, where Dolly Parton is from. I love Dolly Parton. She's just a cool person. <laughs> um, she seems so nice and sweet. I love Dollywood. Her music's great. And actually where I live, we're throwing like a Dolly festival um, in the beginning of June. So I thought I would get these earrings and they're really cute. Um, I just love them. <laughs> I hope you like them too. I love my funky earrings and I love Dolly Parton. But anyways, that is not what today's video is about. Today's video is another fragrance first impressions. I have, I believe, six fragrances from the brand Astrid Perfumes. Um, they are a indie fragrance house, so they are independently owned. They're small. Um, they are, you know, they, they make good fragrances from what I've heard. Um, the indie makeup and more subreddit um, has really influenced me to go out of my comfort zone and try a lot of these indie fragrance houses. So um, Astrid recently released their Winnie's collection, which I believe they release like every year and in about the springtime. So they re-released the previous ones that they released. They also have some new ones. And so I have six of them that really stood out to me as notes I thought I would like. Some of them are new, some of them are old. So yeah, if you want to hear my first impressions of these fragrances, please keep on watching. So I got these little samples from Ajivi, which is a brand um, or a company that basically they buy um, perfumes from these indie houses. They package them into little samples and then they can sell them to the consumer. So you don't have to commit to like a full size bottle. I think it's a wonderful thing. It's a great way to try different indie brands before you commit to a full size. So I'm really a fan of the brand, um, of the company. This is my second order I've ever made from them and I'm very satisfied. So yeah, let's get started. So these fragrances are like, their names are actually like numbers. I believe it's just like the order that they were released. So we're just gonna go from the smallest number to the biggest number. So oldest to newest, I believe. So we're gonna start with the fragrance, which is called 12. So this fragrance sounds just amazing. <laughs> it sounds like a wonderful like breakfast or dessert. So this has notes of marshmallow, white sandwich bread, vanilla, and cinnamon glaze. To me, this almost sounds like a dessert French toast. I've been trying to find a fragrance I love that has like a bready note. So this sounds lovely. So let's give it a try. I'm excited. So I've heard really good things about this collection. And I believe all of these fragrances are gourmandy leaning because that's what I love. So yeah, I love my gourmands. Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh my God. Yeah, I smell bread. I smell bread. I smell vanilla. I smell cinnamon. There's something kind of fluffy. So I get where it says marshmallow, but, I, but can I like pick out marshmallow? No. This almost smells like French toast without the syrup, without the maple syrup. Mmm, this smells really good. I want to try this one on my skin, if, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> this is delicious. Yeah, this is pure French toast without the maple syrup. So I love this. I'll be trying 12 on my skin. And as I always mention in these videos, the fragrances I try on my skin, you'll be hearing full-fledged reviews during my monthly review roundups where I rank all of the products I tried during the month and give you fully fledged reviews instead of just like first impressions. And then the ones I don't try on my skin, I just don't touch them because uh, yeah, I don't like to wear fragrances I don't like. And <laughs> I also get headaches really easily and I don't wanna give myself a fragrance headache if I can avoid it. So anyways, 12 is wonderful. I'll be trying that on my skin for sure. It smells amazing. Next up we have 15. And yet again, this sounds like a gourmand dream. So the notes are marshmallow, vanilla toffee, almond, granola, hazelnut, and clove. This just sounds like a wonderful, like desserty breakfast granola trail mix kind of situation. Like, ugh, this sounds so good. And my boyfriend is a huge fan of hazelnut. Like basically you give him hazelnut chocolates and he's in heaven, so. I could see him even liking this on me, like as long as it does have a hazelnut note to it, like and you can smell it. Yeah, I smell hazelnut for sure. 
I smell vanilla. There's something nutty, so I definitely see the almond and the hazelnut. This one smells good. Am I like blown away like I was with the last one? No. But will I try this on my skin? Yeah, definitely. When it comes to fragrance first impressions, of course, when you smell something on a note card, it can give you an idea of how it's gonna smell on your skin, but you really don't know how a fragrance is gonna react to your skin um, until, you, until you try it onto your skin and you see how it reacts with your skin chemistry because fragrances can smell completely different on different people just depending on their skin chemistry. So who knows, this may be a fragrance I like better on my skin versus the card. Maybe this is a fragrance I like better on the card versus my skin. I won't know until I try it, but I'm definitely willing to try it. So 15, I also think is pretty good, but not as good to me as number 12. So next up we have 16. This sounds yummy. This has notes of marshmallow, white cake, jasmine, sandback, and pink pepper. So this sounds like a gourmand with some florally kind of notes. Normally florals kind of scare me. If you know me, you, you know that. Um, but recently I've been trying some fragrances that have like gourmands with florals. I actually don't mind them. So maybe this is like a, a way to get a more well-rounded, less cloying, more spring and summertime gourmand. That's what I was thinking when I ordered this one, um, but we'll see. I'm trying something a little bit out of my comfort zone, you know? Hmm, I like that. You smell marshmallows, you smell cake, vanilla. The florals are coming out a little more like that jasmine, but it's not cloying. It just provides a little bit of freshness. And there is something a little bit spicy, so I see where the pink pepper is coming from. I like this one too. I would definitely try this on my skin. I think this is very pleasant. I like it. Yeah, that's a hit. And by the way, um, this next fragrance I'm going to try and all the previous ones are returning, the last two are the new ones. So. This, this one, which is called 21, this is the last of the returning fragrances. So this has notes of marshmallow, pineapple soda, cream soda, and maraschino cherry. So this sounds like a fruity, cherry, pineapple, citrusy kind of soda with like a hint of marshmallows, so like a hint of sweetness. We'll see what I think. I love pineapple, I love cherry, um, and I love marshmallow, clearly. So yeah, let's give it a try. Woo! Yeah, that smells like... So I have this... <laughs> this smells like something in my fridge. So I have this energy drink from Alani New, um, and they're delicious, by the way, because I can't drink caffeinated coffee anymore. It just gives me the worst migraine. It makes me sick. I, I just can't do it. Um, so I used to drink caffeinated coffee. Now I can't. I can do soda. That's fine. I can do energy drinks. That's fine. I can do decaf coffee. That's fine. Um... But anyways, these Alani New Energy Drinks, there's this one that's called, um, oh my God, I forget the name. I'll, I'll paste a picture of the can. But it's, it's basically to me tastes like energy drink, better version of like Hawaiian punch. And this to me smells like that energy drink. This, this is Alani New, this, this is the energy drink. <laughs> I, I actually like this one. It is not normally what I would go for. I don't smell any marshmallow in here whatsoever. To me, I'm just smelling cherry soda, pineapple soda. Like, it smells like it, like it in my Align New Energy drinks. But I think it smells good. I'll try it on my skin too. It's just very different. All right, so these last two, these are the new ones. So first we have 31. This one is just marshmallow and peach. Um, actually, I think all of these have marshmallow. Yeah, I'm dumb. Um, all of these have marshmallow. Uh, whoops. So... Basically, I think that's the common thread. They all have marshmallow. But anyways, this one's marshmallow and peach. I've been trying to find a peach scent that I like that doesn't smell like artificial peach. I don't think I've found it quite yet. Um, like, I hated uh, uh, the Tom Ford peach fragrance. I forget what it's called. But to me, it smells like dusty peach. Oh, it's called bitter peach. It's not bitter peach, it's dusty peach. I've tried other peach fragrances, like from Arcana Craves, for example. And I just hated that one too. I did not like it. So anyways, but I liked other Arcana Craves fragrances. Keep that in mind. But anyways, maybe this will be the peach fragrance for me. I'm not sure. But to me, they smell way too artificial. Just way too... Mm -mm. I like. They smell like peach candy. They don't smell like the, the fruit peach. And that's what I want to smell. Is a, is a fruity, realistic peach. Not a peach candy. 
This smells like peach ice cream. I have this peach ice cream that I love from Tillamook <laughs> and it's delicious. And this smells like that ice cream. I like it. I will also be trying it on my skin. Am I gonna have a 100% hit rate today? Let's find out. So the last one I have is 35. So this has notes of marshmallow and chocolate pound cake. When it comes to a chocolate note, I find that a lot of brands do not do it right. They don't give you a realistic chocolate note. They give you this dusty, powdery, gross, artificial, Tootsie Roll-like chocolate note. And I hate it. I really hate it. I'm hoping it's not this. If this actually smells like a chocolate pound cake and marshmallow, I will be over the moon. Yeah, that smells like real chocolate cake. That smells amazing. <laughs> what more can I really say? Um, so this was a phenomenal video. Uh, this Is this the first time I've had a 100% hit rate? I'm not sure. Recently, a lot of these indie brands I've been trying, I've just been nailing it on the head with the fragrances I've decided to try. And all of these were hits. All of these I would love to try on my skin. And all of these you all will certainly be hearing about during my monthly review roundups once I do try these on my skin and once I do have fully formed and full opinions on them. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like this video. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. It also helps me know what kinds of content that you like to see on my channel. If you like me, please subscribe. I'd love to have you all here. I normally post two to three videos per week. And if you have anything to comment down below, comments, questions, concerns, fragrance recommendations, kind of video suggestions, whatever you wanna see, let me know. I love chatting with you all. Um, I always respond to the nice comments. If you leave a mean comment, I don't respond to you. I've been seeing some hate comments recently and that's not nice. So anyways, thank you all for watching and spending part of your day with me and I will see you all next time. Bye.